Welcome to 6C notes, which are where we're simplifying a rational algebraic expression with common monomial or binomial factors. In example one, we are simplifying and stating excluded values. To simplify, we have here we have a monomial 24 n to the fourth divided by another monomial 36 n to the fifth. The very first thing I would like you to do, if, if you can factor, factor the numerator and denominator. Well, factor just means multiplication, which we already have here. 24 times n to the fourth, 36 times n to the fifth. We cannot break this down any further. So now the first step was to factor, if possible. Second step, get your excluded values. Now, excluded values. Excluded values are what will make the denominator zero. In this case, the only number that will make the denominator zero is if n were to equal zero. You put zero in for n in the denominator, and the denominator becomes zero. Zero to the fifth is zero times 36 is zero. You cannot divide by zero in math, so or you cannot yeah, you cannot divide by zero in math. So this is our excluded value. We're going to say n cannot equal zero. Now we proceed with this. Simplify. You have 24, 36, that will reduce to divide top by 12, divide the denominator by 12, you get two thirds. N to the fourth, divide by N to the fifth, divide top and bottom by N to the fourth, you get one, divide bottom by N to the fourth, you get N to the first. And two times one is two, three times N to the first is just three N. So we say our simplified ver answer is 2 divided by 3n with the excluded value of n cannot equal 0. Example 2, now we have, again we have to simplify and state the excluded values. Now we have a binomial in the numerator divided by another binomial in the denominator. So the first thing we should do is factor. For the numerator, there's nothing to factor in the numerator. So first factor. The denominator, we have 5n minus 20. We could take out the GCF, the greatest common factor in the denominator. And we have, bring out 5, and we're going to be left with 5 times n minus 4. So we factored out an m. Second step is to name the excluded values. So what values, what numbers would make, could we put in for m, that would make the denominator 0. Well, in this case, if m equaled 4, 4 minus 4, to 0 times 5 is 0, that will make the denominator 0. So therefore, m cannot equal 4. That's an excluded value. And the third step is just to simplify it. So we look, what about the numerator and denominator is the same? Well, I have an m minus 4 in the numerator and an m minus 4 in the denominator. m minus 4 divided by m minus 4 is 1. Simplify this. We have a 1 in the numerator divided by 5. With the excluded value, m cannot equal 4. That's your final answer. Example three. Simplify and state the excluded value. All right, here we have trinomial divided by a trinomial. So we go to factor the numerator. And you can factor the numerator, the leading coefficient of the n squared term. The first term is one. So from last class, before break, we learned how to factor without our calculators. Now you can put this numerator into your calculator, find your x-intercepts, or work backwards to get your factors. But it's a lot easier just to do 1 times 1 is 8, that adds up to 6. That's 4 and 2. And they're both positive. 6 is positive, so 4 plus 2 is 6. 4 times 2 is 8. And then first terms, n and n. Those are the factors of the numerator. The denominator, again, leading coefficient. 
of the first term is 1. So we do what times what is negative 12, that adds up to negative 4. So what times what is negative 12, that adds up to negative 4, and that's negative 6 and positive 2. And then the leading variables are n, and here is everything factored, numerator and denominator. We then look at the excluded values. Well, what will make the denominator 0? Well, if we put negative 2 in for n, that will make the denominator 0. And also, if you make the denominator, substitute in 6, that will make the denominator 0. So therefore, we cannot have this happen. Neither one of those can happen. And now we simplify. Look at what's in common with numerator and denominator, we have n plus 2 divided by n plus 2. That's 1. Nothing else in common. We have n plus 4 divided by n minus 6 with n cannot equal negative 2 and 6. Example 3, simplify and state the excluded values just the same as Okay, when we factor the numerator here, look to see if there's a greatest common factor, and there is not. So then we, you can put this straight into a calculator, that's one way to do it. And you're going to see that the x-intercepts are at negative 2 thirds, and the x-intercept, the other x-intercept is actually at 4. To find the factors of these, Set each one equal to zero, you're going to get x. You'll get 3x. Just kidding, you're going to get, you'll get negative 3 over 2. Sorry, negative 3 over 2, which will factor to 2x plus 3, and x plus 4, or x equals 4, is x minus 4 for the factors. You find those again in the calculators working backwards from the x-intercepts. In the denominator, we have a leading coefficient of 1. This is much easier just to do what times what is negative 4. That adds up to negative 3. And we're going to set this up with x is in the first spot of the, each binomial. And what times what is negative 4, that adds up to negative 3, is negative 4 and 1. So after this, we state our excluded values. What makes the denominator 0? If the denominator, or if the x equal 4, that would make the denominator 0. And if x equal negative 1, that would make the denominator 0. So therefore, we cannot have that happen. It will, will not, does not work. So now we simplify numerator and denominator. x minus 4. Those are the same. They cancel out. You get 2x plus 3 over x plus 1 with x cannot equal 4 and negative 1. That is our notes for 5c. Come to class with any questions. If I said 5c, I meant 6c. Sorry. Thanks.